In today's video, we're opening Yu-Gi-Oh's most mysterious product. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, I've already mentioned the most mysterious product. Before we actually show you what that is and talk about it a little bit, I, and also Miles, who actually sent me this, I bought a uh, sealed collection from him, you guys saw it recently. He sent me a little bit of a beat up, but a Spanish first edition starter deck Joey. So he said he wanted to give this away. So I said, I can easily do that for you. This will be the giveaway for this video. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed to notifications. Let me know down below. Is this the most mysterious product of all time? Or can you think of something even more mysterious? All right, it's time for the big reveal. What is the most mysterious product? You probably saw it on the thumbnail. I, I can't, I don't know what the thumbnail is yet. I probably should know ahead of time, but you know, I didn't. So we have the Tactical Evolution Special Edition, and you have seen this open on the channel before. You might be wondering if you haven't really seen me open this before, why is this a mysterious product? It just looks like a regular old special. I mean, not regular actually, because it is shaped different than the way most people know special editions. It is on the flat cardboard, which by the way, was an awful idea. I don't know if you guys have ever either. If you haven't seen these open and you haven't opened one before, you might not know, but this is a terrible way to store these packs. This is easy for the packs to get damaged. The promo is almost always damaged. So you can basically guarantee that with these. So that's somewhat mysterious. Why did you do this, Konami? I guess upper deck as well back in 2007. Why'd you do this? That's the first step of mysteriousness. The other thing is the cards in here are a very weird and slimy texture, which I will talk about as we go through. There's also some damage and like horrible quality control that's very consistent in these packs. And then there is the Rainbow Dragon misprint potential, which I have heard originally this was, this is the where you get the Rainbow Dragon misprint. And then it was like, no, it's actually in the tens. So I really don't know for sure. And I know that it's kind of mysterious about where it comes from. So another reason this is just a weird product. So we're going to open it up today. We also have some Ghost from the Past one because you guys know we're on that hunt for that Dark Magician. I even had people at Collecticon be like, did you pull that Dark Magician yet? I was like, not yet. Well, I did, but a long time ago. Okay, so before we open these up, I'm going to throw them up in the back. We're going to open a couple of Ghosts from the Past. We have a few to open up as we go through here because we only have nine total packs in those blisters. So it'll be a very quick video. And I know you guys don't want to watch like a five minute video, right? So I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And it's going to involve pulling a Ghost or a Dark Magician. So that's going to be fun. Gear Town. Orchestra return. Okay, maybe not in that pack, but eventually in this video, right now, maybe we're gonna pull that Ghost Star Dark Magician. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Cosmo Tin Can. Why does the lighting feel a little bit different? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Time Thief Hack. That looks a little better. Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord Heliopolis. I just realized recently this has a, a Mega Tin. This came out in 2012. It was a cover card of a tin. I had no idea. Just knew it from, uh, from Duel Links, <laughs> not gonna lie, Hell Shadal Hollow. Yeah, Hell Shadal Hollow, y yeah, who's surprised that we pull that? I know, it's literally always the last card in these. It's never a ghost share, it's always Hell Shadal Hollow. We have Metaphols, Phantom Knight Fogblade, used to be like $3, now it's under a dollar, it's really sad. Gigantis from original IOC reprint, and Meteor Black Common Dragon. So far, we're not pulling so much. I have we opened three or four packs? I think it's three. We need to open five packs, then we're gonna open the first special edition and see if maybe by some miracle, the promo is not destroyed. Gear Town, I got these from Lewis at CollectCon. We're opening them up today. Mr. Uh, Mind Mole, not Mr. Mole. Mr. Mime, I, maybe that was where I was getting it from. I don't know. Emergency Teleport, $3 card, very nice. We have the Time Thief Chrono Quarter and Thessalos the Mega. Last pack before we get on to the special editions, we have Dark Magician pack. Will we get a Dark Magician in a Dark Magician pack? I would love that. It'd be great. I don't, it doesn't even have to be. I don't care what pack it's in. I just want to pull it. CRU, we have the Rare Metaphors, Bismuth Gear. We have the Artifact Durandal and the Hieratic Seal of Creation. At least we pulled one decent card in those five packs. We definitely did not uh, break even on that five pack opening, but don't worry. We have this. I think I paid 75. He gave me a good deal. I think it was 75 each on these. So I was like, I got to open them. It's 75. It's a great deal. Um, and I think Lewis wanted to see him open too. That's why he wanted to sell them to me. So let's see if we can maybe pull something crazy. Make him, make him sad that he sold them to us. You know, he's like, dang it. It had the ghost or misprint in there. Shouldn't have sold you those. Which I think Lewis, I think is one is he said that he originally pulled one or his friend pulled one. I think it was out of a tin though. I don't remember what he said. I should probably have asked him before I did this, but I know one of his like OG stories was that his friend pulled one of those misprints out of a, out of a pack or it might've been him. I don't remember. It was either with his friend or his friend did it. I think it was his friend pulled it. Then they sold it. I think they sold it for cheap. It was like a couple hundred bucks back then. This card is actually in pretty good condition, but as you, okay, you guys can't really see this, but you notice you can see that was a little bit like more light. It's not really faded, but it, 
it doesn't the stuff doesn't really pop out of you like all the the text and stuff and then it's just kind of eh, i don't even know how to describe it and the feeling of these cards i absolutely hate it some people actually like it but i don't like it it makes me feel like i need to go wash my hands like immediately so I'm not a fan of like the texture of the cards in this era. I think it was Champion Pack 4 was like this as well. So these, all these packs are like this. And then some of the foils, if you get a foil, hopefully we'll get one. We'll be able to show you guys. But these Labyrinth of Nightmare cards are actually pretty rare because they're the different like texture and stuff. So it, it's really weird. It's a weird set. It's a not a weird set, but a weird uh, product because the set itself, Tactical Evolution, doesn't actually have this. It's Man, they just feel so gross. I hate it so much. Okay, four from the back, I think is the correct one. Curse of the Mass Beast. It's so weird for these Labyrinth of Nightmare because it's the only time you can get Labyrinth of Nightmare that's like this. We have the Blind Destruction, Scroll of Bewitchment, Baytal. The Forgiving Maiden, St. June. We have Lady of Salem Flames. Can we get a foil? Oh, it's an amphibian beast. Oh man, these feel so bad. Oh, how do you even describe this? I want to. I need to think of a good way to describe this to you guys. Either way, even if we can't pull the the error card, which I'm pretty sure people are saying it's the ten at this point. It what used to be this was the big one. See, look, here we go. Here's some of the crazy. Uh, I mean, that's just damage, but that happened a lot in these. Look at that. There's another one. Damn. What is going on with that? Look at. The way it's bent is so weird. Oh my gosh. That one too. The foil, is it gonna be bent? Okay, it's not. So all these commons got annihilated. This is not unusual for this set. I mean, you would say in general for Konami, it's not unusual, but for this specific product, it's almost every other pack you get damage cards. Flint Missile, we have Larva. If we can get a foil, I would love to show you guys. Here's the thing though, I don't see any train tracks on the back, so sometimes that'd be better, honestly, if it's not damaged, because if it's like Rainbow Dragon, which we did pull the other day out of a pack like this, go check out that video if you guys missed it, that was crazy. Um, okay, these are all the, the common, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay, so it's just a rare, so I didn't see anything on the back. Uh, more likely to be a rare if it's not damaged, because almost all the hollows are damaged in here. That one was not, and it was not a foil, so it makes sense. One more pack. I, yeah, that Rainbow Dragon I pulled was for Lars. I didn't get to pull one for myself. I have pulled a first edition for myself, but I would love to pull another Rainbow Dragon for myself that I could put in my binder. That'd be pretty sweet, so... Okay, a little damage. Not as bad as last time. Let's do this. We have the Venom Snake, Venom Swamp, Chrysalis Chicky. Phantom Cricket, we have the upside down cocoon part. Oh no, wait, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this around like this. We have a Ritual Raven, Marine Dolphin, we have the Light Effigy, and oh, an Ocean's Keeper. When I flipped this, I thought I felt Ultimate Rare, but I guess it was just the name. I was like, ooh, maybe we got an ulti. We did not, we got a regular rare Ocean's Keeper. So far, Lewis is not jealous that he sold us these, these packs. I think he's pretty happy with it so far. We're 0 for 3, and it's probably likely it's, it's gonna continue, most likely. We have Evil Thorn, that used to be a big card. We have Resonator Call, Salaman Grey Fowl, we have Terra Trishula, and Sun Avalon Dryano. Next pack of Ghosts from the Past. Look, I'm running low on these Ghosts from the Past packs, so eventually the, the hunt is gonna end for the Dark Magician at some point, and I hope it is not before we were like, I hope we don't have to stop because we ran out. We have the Cypher X Dragon. Good card, there we go, we'll take it. Pack number three of the second wave. Metafall's Vol Flame. We have the Recover. We have Molten. We have the uh, Fairy Tale Raksha and Dragoonity Whirlwind. Two more. Two more before we get into another Tactical Evolution Blister Pack. Time Thief Perpetua. Hieratic Seal. We have the Starry Night Astel. Sunvine Maiden. And a Starry Night Flamel. Okay. Okay, we've gotten one card again out of these four packs so far. Last time was Etel, this time Cypher X Dragon. Can we get one huge one right here? Metaphors. We have Combination, we have the Ojama Country, and we have a Sunvine Thrasher. The Link does have a chance at a Ghost Rare, so I can get excited when I see that. Okay, Tactical Evolution Numero Dos. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some. Uh, notice there also is like two different ones. There's the Mask of Remnants one, and then there's the Mass Beast Desgardius, which we had two of those, but I don't think there's a difference besides the promo. I mean, not like the craziest promos. I guess they fit well with Labyrinth of Nightmare being in there because, you know, the masks and everything, but I mean, they're kind of horrible cards. <laughs> I guess they are anime iconic, so maybe that's why they put them on the front because people would have watched the show and get excited about it or whatever. Which, to be honest, that is why we liked uh, all the, the original tins anyway, right? I mean, we liked them because the promos were from the show, not because they were good cards usually. All right, we got the Mask of Remnants, Slimy again. Promo, I said they're always damaged. Okay, never mind. There it is at the bottom. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, these are actually pretty good, but a little damage on the bottom there. 
Let's go into Labyrinth of Nightmare first because Tactical Evolution has Ghost Rare Chance, so we're gonna save those for the end. We have a, man, these cards look so bad. Look at all this print line. There's a, there's a line going from the pack. There's print lines going across. These aren't even the worst. I mean, then there's like damage on some of them. So it's pretty insane how bad the quality was of the print here. We have Grand Tiki Elder, Cure Mermaid. The mystery continues. Can we get a Gemini Elf, Earl of Demise, the gentlemanly creature, Portrait Secret, Dark Door, Ember's Holiday. We have Dream Sprite and we have a Jam Breeding Machine. I pulled Revival Jam in the vlog the other day. If you guys didn't see, it, I also made the short of it. And then I lost immediately to a Magic Cylinder. So uh, I do love Revival Jam, one of my favorite cards, but unfortunately, that was not good enough to win that battle. That was a fun one-on-one -on -one Labyrinth of Nightmare battle. Probably two of my favorite cards you could have pulled. Magic Cylinder's nostalgic to me for a lot of reasons. Back in the day, I loved it. I used to play all traps, big beaters, you know, flip up Magic Cylinders, win the game. And then uh, Revival Jam's just awesome from the anime. I really love the card. We have Rat, we have Gravitic Orb, Ambush Fangs, Orange Gatekeeper of Dark World, Cocoon Party, and... <laughs> Ocean's Keeper, 0 for 5. This is a waxing right now. One more pack, then we have five Ghosts in the Past, then we have another special edition to end it off. We got a lot of potential for big stuff here. Really looking for ghosts in this video. We got Tactical Evolution, we got Ghosts in the Past. One, one, two, three, four. We got more upside down cards. Maybe I need to do a little, a little reorganizing of these cards. The quality control, guys, mysterious, right? I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. Shield Spear, we have Venom Cobra, come on. Flint Missile. Flintlock, Cocoon, Ritual Raven, Neospatian Marine Dolphin, Destructive Draw, and we have a Doom Shaman. We got a foil. Okay, does it have any damage on it? Looks like it has some edge wear. It doesn't have the train tracks though, which is what I was looking for. And what I mean by that is they're just gigantic dents all the way down. It does not have it on this Doom Shaman, so we did get a foil. Unfortunately, it's not gonna show us what I wanted to show, but maybe on the next one, Maybe we'll get a ghost or like that. Honestly, I would love to pull a ghost or like that. Even super damaged, I think it'd be pretty funny. It would be funny because it would be probably super unique and it would just be cool to see like if it was like that or not. I mean, the value would be terrible on it, but it would just be a unique pull. You know what else would be a unique pull? Dark Magician Ghost Rare, baby. PSA 10. Let's go. We have the Laval Volcano. We have Fairy Tales. Starry Night. High Rider Dragon. Starting out Rayel. Okay, three packs left. We have Update Jammer, Heo Zanru, Cosmol, Salvage, and we have Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius. Okay, two packs left. Come on. Come on. We need a Dark Magician. Where is any Ghoster at all? Actually, I mean, we can't even pull a Dark Magician, much less, I mean, a Ghoster, much less a Dark Magician. And we won't right there either. One more chance. Dark Magician from a Dark Magician pack before we go on to the final mysterious product opening. Hieratic Seal, Starry Night, Sunvine, Tackle Crusader from the block with the block dragon. We have a Galaxy Eye Cyberx. I mean, we pulled one okay card in each set of five. Final opening, Mass Beast Descardius Tactical Evolution Special Edition. Good stuff. Great stuff, in fact. Okay, those actually opened a lot better than normal, and there weren't the cards weren't. Oh, never mind. There's one. <laughs> I was about to say the cards weren't as damaged. Yeah, that's usually what you see. You see that, you see a crease. I mean, you see all kinds of terrible stuff most of the time. Uh, but they did do a little better than they normally do. I still do not understand their logic. I mean, I get the logic of it looks really cool and you can see all the stuff in there, but it just doesn't protect the cards of the packs. Three packs left. Here we go. Last Labyrinth of Nightmare Chance. I would love to get a Gemini or a Magic Cylinder out of here like this. I don't know because this is a 2007 pack. I don't know if you can get both secrets out of here, to be honest. One, two, three, four, let's go. We have Amazon Archer. Either one would be great. Ultra would be awesome. Blind Destruction, Fairy Box. We have Scroll of Bewitchment, Flare Forgiving Maiden, not the Flower Maiden, St. Joan. Fusion Gate used to be a money common. We have the Empress Mantis and the Spirit of the Breeze. L-O-N over three. Two more packs, let's go. Tactical Evolution. Can you please bless us? One, two, three, four, with something crazy. We have the Counter Counter. Phantom Cricket. Watch out. Next, we got the secret right next the other day. Crystal's Larva. Creature Seizure. Destructive Draw. Alien Shock Trooper. Reverse of Neos. Oh, I thought there was one more. Fossil Tusker again. No! We're one for A right now. This is not good. Lewis is sitting back like, ha ha ha. You bought these, you sucker. All right. One more pack. We're going to get the Ghost Rare. He's going to be jealous. Watch this. Here we go. Oh, okay. That's not a good sign. All right. Look at that. Look at that damage. Oh my gosh. One, two. It's like this again. Oh no. One more pack magic. Here we go. 
One last chance. Volcanic Rat for the uh, mysterious Yu-Gi-Oh product. Ojama Knight's a good card. Razor Lizard. Gift card. Those are both money cards. Uh, even though they're, they're, of course, both damage. I'll put them to the side still. Um, I don't know. I guess we gotta go like this. Save that ghost shirt. I don't want to scratch it. Reverse of Neos. Gravitic Orb. Ambush Fangs. Ringe Gate Cooper of Dark World. And we have <laughs> Snake Dini's Command. All right. A pretty rough opening, uh, but it was still quite mysterious. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moosey Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.